with your hosts, Pablo Gunner, Slay J, Monkey D Ambassador here. <laughs> Did you guys watch Shazam 2? I didn't. I tried. <laughs> I'm one of the people that just go into a movie. I love just movies. Halfway through this one, I just I just couldn't take it anymore. I was getting frustrated. And I know whenever I'm getting frustrated and it's changing my mood, I should probably just turn it off. <laughs> and I don't know if it's just because we have so much control now and it because of streaming and whatnot maybe it is it is easier just to just give up on a movie maybe at some point i'll try to finish the movie see if i liked it but when you hear about the movies that's what you what you're hearing from people is what is usually what it is right like that's what's correct which is i heard the movie's decent you know i heard it's not a bad movie it's not great but it's not bad it's a decent sequel i don't think it's better it's not better than the first one, but it's not bad. It, it's still a pretty solid movie. I think it um, kind of just loses itself from the first one. The first one was just fantastic. Yeah. And it's like they kind of went this... They lost the character of the movie. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense, but... No, no, it does. There's this time gap, and then it, you feel lost. And, and I'm sure if you watch the first one to the second one, you're just kind of like... I bet I would be more like, this feels off. Like it just seems saying. thrown together, dude. Like, for real. Like, I don't know what's going on with DC. But yeah, so Shazam was alright. It wasn't bad. Like, if, you, if you're if you not... If you gave up, you're probably like... I won't say... It, I don't think it gets worse, but it's about consistent through the Got whole the movie. movie. So if, if you're done, you're done. Yeah.